Look out California because you just had a massive 6.2 earthquake on the Juan de Fuca plate off the coast of Oregon on the Ring of Fire. As we can see, the Juan de Fuca plate is between the North American plate and the Pacific plate. It's on the Cascadia subduction zone. You can see between the Pacific plate and the North American plate, and that's where that section is going underneath the North American plate, subducting underneath. And as we can see, for example, in the lower right-hand side of this image, you can see how magma is coming, being pushed up and coming out of a volcano there. I think that's just about Mount Hood. And you have the Rocky Mountain uh, Ridge of mountains. You also have all these numerous volcanoes on the West Coast, frightening how many they are. And that's a result of the plates subduction underneath the North American plate. And this is where we have today's 6.2 earthquake in Bandon, Oregon, together with the two little earthquakes, 3.5 and 3.2, again, off the coast of Oregon. So it's basically an earthquake swarm. Again, part of the ring of fire. Watch out, California, because after the Venezuela quake of yesterday, 7.3, at the area of the undersea Kikam Jenny volcano, when we were saying that uh, California was pretty quiet considering the activity around the Ring of Fire that we've had recently, we do have a major earthquake on the Juan de Fuca plate in Bandon, Oregon. This thing here at around 9.31 in the morning, but it was accompanied by smaller quakes, as we can see here. 3.5 at the same location at the Juan de Fuca plate and the 3.2 about an hour and a half later after the big one. And again, also we have a 2.8 uh, Cannon Beach, Oregon. So it's in the same area. And we also had, of course, This area here is Yellowstone. It's a super volcano. That's not good. But let's concentrate on this. This is on the Juan de Fuca plate. As we see here, the earthquake that took place today, the big one was around this area right here. It's the smallest of the Earth's 13 major tectonics, tectonic plates, as it says bound by the Pacific Plate to the southwest and the North American Plate to the east. New plate material is formed along the volcanically active Juan de Fuca Ridge. So this is also a volcanic ridge. Okay, Juan de Fuca Ridge spreading outward from its ridge to either side. Along the eastern boundary, the plate is pushed or subducted beneath the North American Plate and the Endeavour Ridge will be home to one or possibly two sites with the, uh, okay, they have the uh, uh, seismic uh, seismo seismographs there. And now, uh, what happened to this one? Was that my fault? Let's see. They just took it off. Okay, and that's the 3.2 in Wyoming, this one here. So that's not good news. So this is a major earthquake. It's no small thing. And uh, I'm also worried about what we saw in, in Wyoming, of course, the 3.2. But we'll keep you updated as to the quakes 
and the seismicity of the area. Now this is a very important area as we can see there's a number of Cascadia volcanoes on the west coast from uh, Canada, British Columbia all the way through Washington and Oregon into California and you can see Baker, Glacier Park, Ranier, St. Mount St. Helens, Adams, Hood, Jefferson, the Three Sisters, Newberry, Crater Lake, Medicine Lake, Shasta, and Lassen. And of course, they're all on the Ring of Fire. So people should be aware, they should be alert, because this Juan de Fuca plate is very creepy in that it gives mega thrust earthquakes. Kindly support by contributing to my Patreon account. You'll find it in the description box below. Thank you.